All right, I have a problem with my AC control not working. Actually, what was happening was that I wasn't getting any fan at all, so when I bought me a new resistor, and uh, this is what controls your fan speed, but since I wasn't getting any fan at all, I decided to go ahead and try to take a crack at this, go ahead and replace it, and see if this would actually work to get my fan back going. So this is what the old one looks, this is what the new one looks like. And this is what the old one looks like. So you can see in there it's all rusted. This is all rusted up. So sometimes what happens is that you have an issue with these resistors. And that's what controls your fan. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on and see what happens. Alright, got the new one in. And in order to get to this part here, you're going to have to pull your battery out. And that pan where it sits on, because that pan sits on these two brackets here screwed in this is actually for my reservoir for my washer fluid but as you can see I got it in there's the fan so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of this stuff back together and I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and hope that that did the trick all right so the fan wasn't working so I had to get another fan motor and this is the one right here so I'm about to go ahead and put this one in. Now this one came without the, without the blower wheel. So hopefully the one that I take out is able to, the blower wheel is able to come off. So it looks like I got quite a few screws I got to have to take off here on the side. So it doesn't look like it may be too big of a deal. Here's my connector. And uh, let's go ahead and get ready to put this thing in. All right, and this van is sits right there, and this is you know where the battery sits. As you can see, that's my new resistor that I got put in that sit right there. And here's my fan motor, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out, put the new fan motor in, and hopefully that will resolve my issue. All right, I got a problem. Um, I got the motor loose, but apparently I can't get it out because this little little blower blower wheel is on there so I can't get it off so I'm gonna try to see if I can get it from the inside all right so got it out I'm gonna give you guys a quick tip um, you got two bolts that go here to your accumulator which is on the bracket so there's one there one there there's actually three you got two at the top one at the bottom you gotta move you gotta loosen those up take those out so you can be able to move this so you can get this fan out now it's going it's pretty uh it's going to take a little time to work it out but it will come out got the new motor in got all of this stuff together that's my new motor this little gasket piece i actually had to take it off the old one um because the new one didn't come with one and just gonna go ahead and put that old one back on but basically this is it this is it I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in and uh see what we got all right got everything in so let's go ahead and start it up let's see what we got what my problem was a little 15 amp fuse that was blown I think this is fuse number 14 so everything's blowing everything is good so yeah that's basically it so if you guys have any problems with your with your blower um, I'll probably say number one check that fuse first um, and then check your relay and you know, if you got any problems or issues with the motor not coming on, then go ahead and replace the motor. But I'm pretty sure that those are going to be your top three things. So, you know, give this video a like, thumbs up, share, comment. And uh, that's it for this.